Hello everyone, welcome to YOLO Live tutorial. Today we are going to teach you about how to start live streaming with YOLO Box. As we all know, YOLO Box is one of the smartest live streaming devices on the market. It is more than just an encoder, but also a switcher, a monitor, and a recorder. With all these features, it just in one that little tiny box. It finally makes high-quality professional live streaming simple and affordable. So without further ado, let's see how easy it is to start live streaming with YOLO Box. The first thing is creating a live event. All you need to do is click the plus sign, then enter the live title. Here you have your live event. With YOLO Box, you can broadcast to multi-destinations to expand your audience. Click the event that you have just created. Swipe right from the very left. You can select from all the major social media streaming platforms. Here you can see the accounts that I have already logged in. But if you haven't, you can just sign up as easy as you do it on the desktop. You can stream up to three platforms at one time. Well, you already use YOLO Box to connect with YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. You can also use YOLO Box to connect with RTMP because setting up RTMP is just so easy. First, click link here on the bottom right. Then click again. You will receive an email where you can set up RTMP on the computer. Then you are done. In some professional cases, one single camera capture is just not enough. Therefore, you need more cameras. You need features like add video sources. Click switch to see all the video sources. In total, there are two HDMI inputs, one SD card input, and one USB input, and another live streaming video from another YOLO box. While you are live streaming, you can click 1, 2, 3, the numbers, to change the video sources directly. For those of you who don't know PIP, aka Picture in Picture, it is a feature that allows users to watch video in a floating screen, that usually on top of another screen, that you can watch two videos at the same time. First, click A and B window, then it will ask you to choose the main screen. Then choose the subscreen and click save. Switch to picture in picture mode. You can drag, resize and position the screen. Watermark is an important part of a branding. It also prevents people from stealing your videos. Adding watermark is also super easy. First, click Overlay to add watermark templates stored in the SD card. Then click to choose the logo you want on the screen. You can add two logos at the same time. And you can also resize and drag it to position your logo. Or hold and press to delete the logo. And some of you might want to record a live stream event and get a file saved on the local SD card. Click record to record videos, it will tell you the remaining storage and time. Click again, it will start recording. One thing to note here is the recorded video will be automatically split into 10 minute clip files. Ok, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned some techniques for better live streaming with YOLO Box. If you still have any questions, feel free to follow us on social media. Stay tuned, I'll see you in the next one.